is stored in this object called A. Okay? Now, let's move to the data structures and data types in R. We have actually five main data types in R, which are uh, vectors, matrices, lists, and arrays, and data frames, okay? So we will start by seeing what's a vector in R. Here I'm showing a hashtag. So hashtag in R is to make a comment we are telling R that we are not taking in account, into account what is following the hashtag. So please let's type vector because we are now going to see how to create a vector in R. So what are a vector? How to create a vector? And what is a vector actually? Uh, a vector is a most basic R data object. It's a one-dimensional array. So we can have a single element vector. We have single element vector. And we can have multiple element vector. Uh, for the multiple element vector, we will use the C with parentheses function, which stands for concatenate. So what does it tell? So it doesn't tell R to create a vector actually, but it tells R to combine the elements of the vector. The elements of the vector are called components. Let's say we want to create a vector a numeric vector where we are concatenating uh, four elements, which are one, two, three, and four. Okay. Let's call our vector B. So we give the name of the vector B and then the assignment operator. We will have our vector B we run our vector. Here in the script tab, we won't see the result, but in the environment, we will see that we have created a vector B with four elements. So four components, okay? This is a numeric vector. So to visualize our vector, we write B and then run. So we see here our vector. Let's move by creating a character vector. We want to put in our vector character A, B, and C. So for that, we have to use the concatenate we use the concatenate function. Please be aware that characters are often denoted with the quotation marks around them. So for A, we have to use quotation mark to tell, to tell R that uh, we are using characters. So when we put the quotation marks, R understand that these are the character vectors. And then let's call our vector C. So we give the name of the vector plus the assignment operator. Here we have created our character vector. Okay. So we run our vector and you will see the result here by typing C. And we can see it also in our global environment that we already created our new vector. Let's move creating a logical vector. So R takes as logical true and false. So true and false. 
are uh, logical. So character strings uh, logical must be in uh, capital to make a logical vector. So we use true and false, we use concatenate. And let's call our logical vector G. For that, we have to use the assignment operator. So here we have created our logical vector. Which has a true and false. So it has two components and we gave the name G to our vector G. Every time we create a vector or a matrix or whatever, so uh, an object in R, we will see our object here, so in our global environment. Okay, so now let's move to matrix. We'll see how to create a matrix, but before seeing that, what is really a matrix? So matrices are, are objects in which the elements are arranged in two-dimensional array. So actually a matrix is a join of vectors. So we have uh, columns in a matrix and rows. Now, we will start by creating our matrix. We said that a matrix is uh, a join between uh, vectors. For that, so we have to use the C bind function to join columns together into a matrix. We will start by creating our vector name H, which has four components. So it's a numeric vector, we have 15, 2, 3, 4, and 5 in our vector. And we have weight, which is our second vector, 